हेलो एवरी वन टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द मैग्जिलरी कनाइन आई विल गिव यू डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन फॉर हाउ टू कव मैग्जिलरी कनाइन सो बिफोर स्टार्ट विद दैट एज यू नो दिस इज वॉट इज मैग्जिलरी कनाइन राइट इट हैज़ अ सिंगल रूटेड इट्स ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एन कस्पीड वाई इट्स कॉल्ड कस्पीड बिकॉज इफ यू सी हियर दिस इज कस्प विच इज प्रजेंट ऑन द इनसाइजल एज सो दैट इज वाई दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एन कस्पीड okay it has a ridge you can see ridge here on the crown this is a ridge okay this is on lingual side now from the labial side it looks like pentagon okay it looks like pentagon it has an sharp edge here then it has an inclined plane two inclined plane okay now remember this inclined plane this inclined plane is a shorter at mesial side and longer at distal side you can make out right this is longer and this is shorter okay so longer at the distal side now if you see the contact point also now see the edge here where is the edge here this point if i make a line like this which is above this part is above that means the mesial aspect the mesial line angle or point angle this part is above than the distal one okay this is mesio incisal angle okay mesio incisal angle this is disto incisal angle okay so the mesio incisal angle is above than the disto incisal angle okay it has a single rooted the root has been tilted little on the distal aspect little on the distal aspect okay but we are not looking for this part right now we are looking on the crown part okay now if you see mesio distally okay the ridge is visible from mesial as well as distal aspect okay mesial as well as distal aspect okay so this is just a few points which was you have to look after while doing the carving okay so how to start with the carving i'll just tell you how to start with the carving now this is how your diagram supposed to be this is how the step wise okay the first steps this is the your block divide this block into three parts okay the crown is of an 10 mm and the root of an 17 mm so just divide that part into three parts okay the crown the uh, block into the three parts okay then the second step is to measure the mesio distal dimension mesio distal dimension okay so at the incisal edge mesio distal dimension is 7.5 so if it is 7.5 consider it as an 8 so from the midline take 4 mm on this side take 4 mm on this side okay so automatically this becomes 8 and at the cervical area it is 5.5 so consider 3 so take 3 on this side and 3 on this side so automatically it comes up to 6 mm so your crown is automatically little larger than what the dimension are expected okay so this is what is the labial aspect then draw a line from here to here okay so this is on mesial outline this will be distal outline so they will be automatically tapering towards the cervical line okay and this part is an excess part so what you have to do you have to chop it off this excess part you have to this which is shaded in the lines you have to chop it off okay so automatically then you have to go for the third step so your carving will look like this okay so once your carving will be look like this then you have to go for the slopes okay this is how your slopes supposed to be now you have divided crown into three parts incisal half incisal third middle third and the cervical third okay how many thirds incisal middle and the cervical third so incisal third now see this is midline what you have drawn it here this is the midline of the crown from the midline okay see this is the incisal third line so the mesial slope will be just above the incisal third line okay just above the incisal third line you have to draw it like this and if you see distal where it is it is from the tip it goes below the third line okay so once it goes below the third line automatically the length of this uh, angle the length of this edge will be longer than the mesial incisal edge okay so automatically this part 
will be excess now so remove this part again okay so your crown will be at least it will get a shape of an canine now okay so this is from the label aspect then you have to turn on the mesial aspect so how will you go on the mesial aspect here one minute huh? Huh. so how will you go on the mesial aspect here now i'm looking it from the mesial aspect the length is same here from the mesial aspect but bucco palatal diameter okay bucco palatal diameter is just one millimeter lesser than the what is it re required okay that means it must be some eight or nine okay so this part is little excess so remove this part got it then draw a midline like this and from this midline from this midline this is what the buccal surface so draw a straight line little away from the midline okay draw a straight line just away from the till the midline okay this is the middle part of the midline this part is the middle of the midline okay so draw this till the middle of the midline and c shape curvature on the palatal side okay so once you remove that c shape curvature or excess wax the crown will be appear like this okay and then on the occlusal side you have to make a buccal ridge also here so here it will be around so this angle you have to cut it for the for the development of the buccal ridge so this is how the occlusal ridge okay is it clear to you now till the diagrams okay till these diagrams is it clear to you so i'll go one by one again how to make a canine okay so first your preparation will be making a lines on the block okay this is how you have to divide this on the incisor root portion and this will be a base okay so this is how 